Some bad things came out today. You know, those classified. You know the word classified. She sent vast amounts of classified information, including information classified as top secret. Top secret. Okay? And this is where they said that she was extremely careless and, frankly, I say, grossly incompetent. We can't have someone in the Oval Office who doesn't understand the meaning of the word confidential or classified. And maybe classified at the highest, highest level. How sad. That rallying cry surrounding Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server, those attacks were what his entire campaign was built around. But now, amid reports this week about Trump's improper handling of classified White House documents, several Republicans who helped lead those attacks, well, they are silent. And others, according to The New York Times, who had been directly involved with investigating Mrs. Clinton, declined to discuss the specifics, except to suggest, without evidence, the National Archives and Records Administration was treating Mr. Trump more harshly. Why is the archives handling this differently? Senator Charles Grassley of Iowa asked. The irony and the hypocrisy not lost on Clinton, who was eventually cleared of any wrongdoing. According to her spokesperson, she told The Times, quote, the two-year frenzy over emails was a political Rorschach test where everyone saw something different in what was ultimately nothing. Call it sexism, Republic de Republican depravity, ratings hungry media. It's time we acknowledge it was bull bleep. And write that into the history books. That is my version of that word. Hers was a little stronger. Joining us now, Reverend Al Sharpton, host of MSNBC's Politics Nation and president of the National Action Network, and Miles Taylor, former DHS chief of staff, now co-founder and executive director of the Renew America movement. Miles, the hypocrisy, I mean, not surprising. It is one of the most consistent things about the former president, but the hypocrisy is not his alone. Where is the Republican outrage now? Well, uh, so I have to start with the hypocrisy, though, because it's not just hypocrisy. It's that Donald Trump himself was mind-numbingly incompetent when it came to the protection of classified information. So it's not just that he criticized Clinton and then did something similar. He did something vastly worse on multiple occasions, so much so that we were scared legitimately scared to take sensitive classified information into the Oval Office and tell the president of the United States about it. That's how bad it was. We would talk about it before we would go in. Uh, and when, when we got certain briefs, can we talk to the president about this? Because there was a worry he would leak information to the public, to foreign adversaries. I mean, I'll give you one example. There was a time that reporters were sitting in the Oval Office talking to the president, doing a background interview, and he had classified information on his desk and he grabbed it and he held it up and waved it in the air to brag about how he gets really important information. And we, I mean, our jaws hit the floor. There was also a photographer in the room. Now, fortunately, we found out that they did not capture the highly sensitive classified information that Donald Trump grabbed with his fists and waved in the air. But that's how reckless this man was with that type of information. Now, there's that piece, which I wish my fellow Republicans condemned. But there's also, again, as you know, the hypocrisy. People need to come out and say, that, you know, Donald Trump, like anyone else, should be held accountable in terms of the protection of information. Unfortunately, what we've learned about the Trump White House is that they've both tried to hide sensitive documents, shred, get rid of, maybe even flush sensitive documents down the toilet, and on many occasions try to prevent documents from even being created that could be sensitive and incriminating. So a, a bad news story all around when it comes to the Donald Trump administration handling of sensitive documentation. I mean, Rev, Republicans, they want it both ways. Here was Senator Tommy Tuberville just this morning. Take a listen. Donald Trump didn't go through there and say, yeah, well, so let's keep these and these and these. I mean, that, that, that's not going to happen. You know, you got so many staff people and so many people that work for you that, that uh, uh, it was obviously some kind of mistake that it made a cardboard box that's probably never been even looked at, you know, since since uh, they left office a year ago. Cardboard box that no one's looked at. That's called the benefit of the doubt. Hillary Clinton did not get the benefit of the doubt, Rev. Well, uh, and not only did she not get the benefit of the doubt, 
are we to assume that they thought she went through every document and every box that she was accused of hiding things? I think that uh, the the thing that is even more troubling to me than the obvious hypocrisy and, and obvious uh, attempt for a double standard is they literally were able to use this smear campaign against Hillary Clinton to get hundreds of thousands, possibly millions of voters to doubt her. Yep. Maybe independent voters that may have gone her way. They may have swayed the election mm -hmm. on a misinformation campaign. That's how dangerous this is. As well as the fact that you have the president of the United States so reckless uh, that staff members were afraid of him having classified information that may have led to things that could have endangered this country. Let's not forget, not long after he was in office, he was showing a Russian leader some classified, uh, referring to some uh, documents on his desk, bragging about his new power, because he was a guy that knew he didn't belong in the office, he was insecure about his power, and he always had to prove to people how powerful he was, because real powerful people don't have to prove that. So when you put someone in that kind of position, Position, you put all of us in danger. And now he's mocking the rules because, again, he does not rise to the level of president or former president, and he's not even a good person at covering his tracks after he does such obvious illegal acts and, and unethical acts.